Ken, what can I get you? Uh, half a bit, please, Miss Walker. You're very thoughtful these days. I suppose offering a penny for them would be inadequate in these inflationary times. Yes, I dare say it would. But, as an old friend, I would like help if anything's on your mind. Actually, Mr. Tatlock has told me the cause. You mean he's been shouting out my private affairs around the pub? Oh, no, dear. No, no, no. He was speaking to me in confidence. I'm sure he hasn't been talking to all and sundry. Well, what has he told you? Well, I gather that you and Deirdre are thinking in terms of a wedding. Possibly. Now, you won't be asking for my advice, but if I were to give it, I should have to freely admit that I have been mistaken about Deirdre in the past. Look, Mrs. No, Walker. No, please let me finish, dear. I've seen her coping since Raid decamped, and I realise there's a lot more to her than I ever gave her credit for. Well, no doubt she'll be very flattered to hear it. But, at the same time, I have always thought that if a marriage is to work, the partners must be equal. And Deirdre, well, with all her qualities, she is not your intellectual equal. As you said, Mrs. Walker, and I quote, I won't be asking for advice. <coughs> Come on, Mavis, get it down, you. What you've been through this last 24 hours, you need to keep your strength up. Well, I don't usually have anything at dinner time. Well, you should do. Yes, and I should be down in the shop. Deirdre's quite capable. Let her hold fort for a bit. Now, come on. It's him. Nay, all the four rings all besides this. So it is. I know it. I know it's ring. <laughs> Hello. Three, four, eight, two. Yes. Yes, she is. Just a minute. I'll get her. I think it is him. He said a friend. I can't possibly speak to you. Oh, you've got to. Could have just hold on, love. She won't be a minute. Just a minute. Come on, you've got to. Hello? Well, where were you last night? I, I said, where were you last night? I waited for you for nearly an hour. <laughs> well... No, you were saying you're sorry, is it? Yeah, well, sorry doesn't help, does it? How do you think I felt? Ooh, you shouldn't say things like that. Well, I don't know why I should. Well, so you meet him. <laughs> All right, then. What, tonight, yeah? Same place, same time. All right. <laughs> I hope we will have a good time, yes. Oh, I told you you shouldn't say things like that. Yes, I'll be there. Yes, all right then. Bye. No, it's not him that's mental. It's me. <laughs> There's a pot of tea in the kitchen I've just brewed. What's up? Aren't you speaking? I went into the Rovers after lunch. Annie Walker buttonholed me and tried to get in her two pennyworth about my private affairs. Well, that's typical. And on this occasion, she was well primed. By you! What are you talking about? You know full well what I'm talking about. You've been picking over my private affairs with Annie Walker. And anyone else who cares to listen, I dare say. Ina Sharples, no doubt. Your various boozing cronies. Well, my relationship with Deirdre is none of their business. And it's none of yours either, Come well, to that. I'm entitled to speak. I'm family. You're not entitled to drag other people into it. But if I keep going on about it, it's just because I don't want to see you making a muck of your life. Oh, is that so? It is so. And if you're her, you will be doing. Well, I haven't asked for your opinion. No, but you're getting it just the same. She's all wrong for you, you know. You'll be landing yourself in a whole lot of trouble. Oh, yes, and you're quite disinterested, of course, quite unselfish. What do you mean? Well, it's not just Deirdre, is it? You'd be against any woman that I was interested in. You think it might upset your comfortable little routine? Look, you've got no right to say that. Oh, haven't I? 
Well, you've got no right to interfere in my life. Now, I haven't asked for your advice, and until I do, I don't want to hear any more about it. Right. I'll say no more. You do just as you like. I'm going round to Legion. <laughs>